China, ranks fourth worldwide in terms of arable lands. And its grain output has ranked first in the world for over 30 years, feeding more than 1.4 billion people. How does China keep consistently enjoying good harvests? The story begins in spring. Weishan Irrigation District in Shandong, the third largest grain producing province in China, has an agricultural irrigation area of over 3,600 square kilometers, more than the combined area of Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago. North China's winters are cold and dry. So the growth of the winter wheat is mainly determined by irrigation. Weishan Irrigation District produces nearly 10 million tons of grain and vegetables every year. A total length of about 2,500 kilometers of canals have been built as the blood vessels of spring irrigation in the district. Satellite images monitoring the soil moisture show that in less than four weeks, the entire area is almost entirely covered in blue, indicating high humidity and the completion of spring irrigation. Canals Farmlands Villages and photovoltaic panels form the landscape of China's modern agriculture. Precise watering is an important measure in China's agricultural production. In 2021, the irrigated area of China's arable lands reached 1.037 billion mu accounting for 54% of the country's total arable lands. Unlike grains in Shandong, which can be harvested twice a year, there is only one crop of harvest in Heilongjiang, China's largest grain-producing province. So spring sowing is treated as a crucial battle across the region. Corn, rice, and soybean are the three major grain crops in Heilongjiang. Various crops differ in how they reflect the sunlight and their contents of chlorophyll. So they are given divergent colors on the satellite spectrum map. Northeastern China once suffered from serious water erosion, which washes off soil and creates ditches and streams across the farmlands. But thanks to the high standard farmland construction and ecological environment restoration over the past decade, the region's lands have recovered and become weather resilient. They can not only effectively drain water during floods, but also retain water for irrigation in times of drought. Satellite remote sensing and other technologies are also used to monitor insect pests and crop diseases. From 2009 to 2019, the area of arable lands in Heilongjiang had increased by 8%. And by 2030, China will build 1.2 billion mu of high standard farmland to ensure an annual grain production of more than 600 billion kilograms. Traditionally, the summer harvest spans from May to late June in China every year. When the harvest is completed, which usually takes around one month, 
summer sowing will begin. Located on the vast Wanghuai Plains, Henan and Anhui are respectively the second and fourth largest grain producing provinces in China. Satellite images show that wheat fields change from green to tawny and then to yellow, the color of the surface of the farmlands after harvest. Satellite remote sensing technology can even help us spot an unharvested wheat field in the corner. It can monitor the whole process of harvests in China's farmlands, from space, hundreds of kilometers away above the Earth. This could also have an impact on global food security. In autumn, from the edge of the Pacific Ocean, to the interior lands of East Asia. From the black soil in the northeast China, to the coast of the South China Sea. Grain harvests are in full swing across China. One month after the harvest, the farmlands in Heilongjiang will be nourished by snowfall and be ready for a new round of farming next spring. In Shandong, Hunan, Anhui, and other provinces further south in China, autumn sowing is also just around the corner. Harvest while make preparations of sowing. This process has been repeated in China for thousands of years. Today, relying on modern technologies, scientific management, high priority, and huge investment in grain production from the government, China's grain output has seen a stable growth. Over the past 10 years, China's agricultural policy has not only promoted high-standard farmlands with water-saving irrigation and mechanized production, but also encouraged a reduction in the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Harmonizing farming with nature. This is the story of China's harvest.